Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dana's Delight. I hope you're all doing well. Today, I will be showing you how to do these really nice cinnamon apple crisps. These are really yummy as a dessert, snack, breakfast, or even on the go thing. Now, you guys can pair this with some custard, have it with some fruit salad, um, even with an acai bowl is really nice or chopped up and sprinkled on top or even just some yogurt, plain yogurt or even just some honey or cinnamon yogurt is also really a nice option. So today you'll be needing a plate, a bowl for later. I also have three red apples. Now these have got some bruises on them because they are best for baking i have a plate and a bowl with some apples in it i'm using three but you guys can use as many as you like i have here some white sugar and some ground cinnamon a cutting board a sift for the cinnamon a spoon and the cora just to take out the core of the apple and a knife as well Right, so I'm going to grab my first apple, and to be honest, when I actually put the core thingy in and grabbed the core, it was really hard because the core was on an angle, so I had to just keep going in and out, in and out, trying to get it, and so once I've gotten it out, I just simply sliced the apple in half, but I grabbed a bowl just to put the seeds in because those can go to the compost. Now, I'm going to do really thin slices, and this is because they cook so much faster. If you guys make them thicker, then you'll have to cook them more. Now, I'm just placing them into my plate like so. I actually did an apple at a time, but for this, I did half an apple because they were really big slices. Now, it is optional. I'm using the air fryer, I forgot to mention, to cook my apples in you guys can use an oven but i'm going to use some canola spraying oil only because it really helps with the caramelization and it helps stick the sugar and cinnamon on so i'm growing my canola oil cooking spray now air fryers are supposed to be healthier because you don't use oil and they just fry like as if you're deep frying something but Today is my cheat day, so I will use some of this oil just to help caramelize and, as I said before, stick everything nicely. Drizzle some of your white sugar. You guys can use powdered sugar at the end as well. That's really nice. This is just to sweeten them up. Obviously, if your apples are pretty sweet already, you don't really need to add sugar. But if you're going to do it with brown apples, I would suggest to use brown sugar or raw sugar only because I feel like that one is way sweeter. So I'm going to grab my cinnamon sugar and kind of dust it onto the apples. I actually love that word dust. So I am just going to dust it on and I'm pretty generous when it comes to cinnamon and these apple crisps because the way they come out, cinnamon's usually like overpowering because it's got this sweet woody taste to it but when it comes out the apples are really like earthy and have got a really nice color to them so you guys don't have to use cinnamon it's up to you but i prefer to use cinnamon now i'm just going to flip them over and do the same to the other side So I have just now placed them all into the air fryer and I'm going to cook these for about 15 minutes. Now, 15 minutes later, 
they were still really raw so I cooked them in total for 45 minutes on 200 degrees now this is why you make them thin because they take way quicker if they were thicker they would have taken over an hour thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more